Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to the garden. And in our video today, we're going to concentrate on how we can look after our plants in a way that's friendly to nature. There are three creatures in Wales that I think cause the most problems in our gardens. The slugs and the snails, birds, butterflies and caterpillars. But you know, these creatures are also important to our ecosystems. Birds, for example, are very important in terms of controlling the population of these creatures in our gardens. Slugs and snails are instrumental in composting and the butterflies are very important pollinators. So how can we grow our plants and our crops in a way that complements these creatures in the garden, but that also means that we can also have a good crop that's not hampered too much by their destruction? There are many ways we can protect our plants against slugs in the garden without harming them. As you can see here, I'm planting a clump of French marigolds next door to my runner beans. Now hopefully the French marigolds will draw the slugs and the snails away from these, allowing me to have a good crop. This is sometimes known as companion planting. Another technique you can try in the garden is to place a protective boundary of crushed eggshells around your plants. The sharpness of the shells means that the slugs and the snails don't travel easily over the boundary. Another added benefit, of course, is that they're full of calcium, which also feeds the plants as well. Another thing you could try, and I'm experimenting with this for the first time this year, is to place a layer of wool around the plants, because apparently slugs do not like to travel over the fine layer of the fibres in the wool. <laughs> Another creature that creates problems in the garden are the birds. For example here I have blackcurrants and gooseberry bushes and the birds seem to love to devour their fruit at this time of year. But one simple thing you can do to control that is to erect a simple wooden frame like this and tie some netting to it just for a short period of time, thus not harming the birds but allowing you to have a successful crop of fruits at the same time. Another example I have here is using netting over the peas as I've sown them just to stop the birds from eating them early on. Caterpillars and butterflies can pose a particular problem for the cabbages in the garden, but there are simple things we can do to protect our cabbages without harming these creatures as well. One of the things I like to do is create my own spray, an organic spray, using garlic and cayenne pepper and water, and just spray the leaves once a fortnight, and the actual um, residue from that spray creates an awful taste on the leaves that the caterpillars themselves don't enjoy eating, but it doesn't harm them. So how do we create our own nature-friendly spray at home? Well, we require three main ingredients. A teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and also 700 millilitres of lukewarm water. Place all the powder within a jug of water and stir it well, dissolving any large particles as you do so, until the water is an orangey colour. Then, find yourself a sprayable bottle that you could use to spray the spray around the garden, and place the liquid slowly and carefully within the bottle. And as I emphasised before, this spray is not harmful to caterpillars in any way. It just leaves a residue on the leaves that is slightly discourages the caterpillars from eating the leaves, leaving them to grow for you to enjoy. Another thing we can also do is plant nasturtium plants around the cabbages themselves because nasturtiums are a companion plant to cabbages, enticing the caterpillars away from the leaves. We could also use netting, just as we did for the birds, to cover the cabbages themselves, this stopping the butterflies from laying their eggs on the leaves. So I've just finished planting my French marigolds. I hope that this video has shown you that gardening, being such a rewarding activity, doesn't need to be something that harms nature. We can garden in a way that's beneficial to the nature that calls our gardens homes as well. Tanatronessa, Hoyla Metro.